Ladies and gentlemen, the third edition of the international research as a part of our research group in the Central European Process Network research program run by the Central European Academy, together with a group of excellent researchers, we are looking at the migra migration process uh, in a broad sense. One of my substantive tasks was to prepare to an analysis of the migration process in the terms of requirements and specificity of the criminal law. Of course, criminal law is a specific. Uh, criminal law regulations are not universal. Each country has its own criminal law regulation, which I, why I have chosen the criminal law system operating, of course, in Poland. In this context, as we can see, it is necessary to combine the three important elements of this analysis into a single wall. The first element is migration, of course. The second element is criminal law. And the third element is the structure of crime of Poland. Let me share you today my conclusion, analysis and comments on the migration process, analyzing the term of structure of crime in Poland. My analysis plan, plan my presentation, therefore, will consist of several parts. These are the following research areas. Migration, variety of termin terminology, structure of crime in Poland, general analysis only, foreigner in Poland, structure of crime of foreigners in Poland. Part one, migration. I have no doubt that the migration is a complicated process. If we assume that the migration is a process, is, it, it, that migration is a process, then there is a need to recognize the term process, which can, of course, be defined in different ways. In Poland, in dictionary terms, process is a, a, a course of consecutive and casually related specific changes, proceeding con con conducted by the court, successive changes in a particular matter. Hence, we have a no. Litigation process, which is the set of steps that are taken before a judicial, judicial body to resolve some kind of conflict. Biological process, in example, process that living thing to throw in throat in uh, which chemical reactors in, are involved. I don't know. Computer process, of course, series of interrelated phenomena occurring in society and causing specific effects, so social transformation, such as socialization, industrialization, urbanization, etc. Economic and business process, in example, process that involve making decisions about economic activities, so as to achieve a certain desire, effect, and meet certain predetermined objectives. And finally, we have migration process, defining the term Migration, among their other things, according to the, for example, Polish Central Statistical Office, is, it is emphasized that it is the process of population movement associated with a change of residence, permanent or temporary, combined with the crossing of an administrative border of a basis territorial unit or country. So therefore, migration can be internal, change of residence stay within a country within a, within a, a basic territory, territorial unit. Migration can be external in ex exchanging the place of residence, residence of the country of residence, but within the borders of a specific country. I will therefore propose the following definition of migration. Migration can be described as a process, internal, external, of subjective and material change involving the permanent or temporary movement of a person, it is subjective element, in order to change the environment and living condition of that person, which can take a variety of forms, example, economic objectives, political objectives, and military objectives, or objectives in the form of improving the condition of a person living, person's living environment. This is the objective element. Now that we can have established, define what migration is, let's move on to further things this time in the term of terminology. As the Roman used to say, hominis definitio in ura periculosa est, any definition in law is dangerous. However, the migration process requires specific 
terminology which must be appropriate but also very flexible and in scope, flexible in scope. Part two, terminological diversity. In our research, a very important factor is to correctly define the basic concepts associated with the concept of migration in the broadest sense. Now that we have clarified what it is and what migration is, now worth moving on to some sort of ordering of terminology. This is because migration is a, some kind of basket in which other elements are accumulated. This is because it is necessary to clarify terms. Immigrant, emigrant, refugee, foreigner, foreign national, as detailed subjective elements of the whole migration process. Without doubt, the primary term for, for further research is the term immigration. Immigration, therefore, is the arrival of persons from abroad for the purpose of settlement, permanent residence, or temporary residence. Therefore, in terms of importance, immigrants are those who come from abroad to a country to settle life permanently or to stay temporarily. The second term is emigrant. Emigrant means a person going abroad to settle life permanently or for temporary residence. Hence, emigration is going abroad to settle life permanently or for temporary residence. It is worth noting that the above terms have a common dimension and have a semantic basis directly in common dictionaries. On the other hand, in the word nothing, that in the legal field, these two terms also have a specific meaning. In European Union law, immigration means the action by which a person establishes her or he residence in the territory of, um, of, um, uh, of a member state for a period that is, is or is expected to be of a less, at least 12 months, having previously been resident in another member state or the third country. In addition, European Union law, emigration means an action whereby a person formally resident in the territory of a member state, cases to have his or her habitual residence in the member state for a period that, that is, or is expected to be at least 12 months. And it, in addition, in my view, a term related to our analysis today will also be the term refugee. Refugee in Polish legal system is understood in accordance with the definition contained in the 1951 Geneva Convention relating to the status of refugee and the 1967 New York Protocol. In general, under this international instrument, a refugee is a person who is outside his or her country of origin, of which her or she is national or has been a permanent residence, has a well-founded fear or being persecuted for reason of race, you know, religion and nationality, membership of a particular social group of political opinion and is unable or unwilling to avail himself or herself of the protection of his or her country of origin because of that fear and no exclusion clauses apply to him or her. However, it seems to me that all the concepts presented from the point of view of the Polish legal order are tied together by the term foreigner. It, it is a term that combines two important concepts for this analysis. In example, migrant and refugee both fall under the term foreigner. The term foreigner means citizen for a foreigner foreign country, otherwise known as a foreign national, in example, person who does not have the nationality of the country in which she or he resides, so including stateless. Foreigners permanently residing in Poland are counted as a part of the Polish population, while others, regardless of the period of residence, are treated as immigrants temporarily residing in Poland. They are not counted as a part of the Polish population. Hence, while there is no law in the legal system in Poland, regulation, in example, immigration, the basis for defining a foreign in Poland in the act of 12 December 20, uh, 2013 on foreigners. According to this law, based on Article 3, it's very simple 
definition, a foreigner is any person who does not have Polish citizenship. That's the end. The rule is closely linked to the provision of the Polish constitution for the according to Article 37, Paragraph 1, the Polish constitution, everyone who is under the authority of the Republic of Poland enjoys the freedom and right guaranteed by the constitution. And we left with one last term, very close in meaning to, <coughs> to the term foreigner, is the term foreign national. In Poland, it is generally accepted that foreigner and foreign national are synonymous for a person who is not a citizen, re resident of a particular country. For Poles, foreigners, foreigners or foreign national, nationals are people of other nationalities and residents of other countries, both to those who live or only stay for a short period of time in Poland and those who have never crossed the borders of our country. The term foreigner is therefore synonymous with the term foreign national and is an umbrella term for a person who does not have the nationality of the state in which he or she res resides and therefore also includes an immigrant or refugee in, this, in its content. Part four, structure crime of, in Poland, general analysis. Having already known that the base assumption of the concept of crime and the principle of criminal law it is worth presenting and analyzing in general structure of crime in Poland, the analysis will, from a overview, area against the general view of foreigner crime in Poland. In Poland, the basis data, it is important to help analyze the crime phenomenon, are mainly those collected by the Poli Polish police <laughs> headquarters. Looking at the data indicated on the screen, table one, one can see an initial drop in crime in Poland starting 2013 to then observe from 2017, a slight increase in crime. The year 2020 is cert certainly not worthy where crime fell, but it must be mentioned here that we know this was the year of the COVID-19 pandemic. This time of global isolation was not conductive to committing crime due at least and structure in place at the time, hence the number of crimes must have been considerable lower. In contrast, the most recent time period, so according to the 2022 data, the number of offenses recorded was 5% higher than the previous year, 2021. Overall, therefore, according to the Polish police in 2022, 862,992 crimes were recorded. For a detail, I'm sorry for detail, uh, analysis of crime in Poland in general, I invite you to my scientific article um, uh, contain uh, detailed analysis of this phenomenon. Right now, we simply don't have a time. So we go to part five, foreigner in Poland. At the outset, it is worth recalling that the legal status of foreign in Poland is regulated by the Affirmation Act 13 June 2003 on foreigners. The foreigner, we know, uh, is therefore a person who does not have Polish citizenship. On the other hand, in the order to analyze the crime structure of foreigners in Poland, it is the first necessary to present the general structure of foreigners in Poland, of course. There is no doubt that the structure of foreigners in Poland is very diverse, although quite predictable and stable. According to the Polish office for foreigner, almost 460,000 foreigners currently hold the valid residence permit in Poland. Of the 457,000 foreigners who had valid, uh, valid residence permits on uh, 1 January, January 2022, the largest groups were national, you know, Ukraine, Belarus, German, Russia, Vietnam, India, Italy, and so on. However, in 2020, the largest increase among foreign settling in Poland concerns citizens of Ukraine by 29.1 thousand people, Belarus by 3.2 thousand, Georgia by 2.4 thousand, Moldova 1.2 thousand, South Korea by 0.5 thousand. There is no doubt that the Russian 
hostilities in Ukraine and uh, to the cross Poland's immediate eastern border must have resulted in a migratory movement of the foreign of Ukraine uh, origin of to Poland. It is therefore not surprising that uh, the largest group of, of, of foreigners in Poland at the moment, at this moment, are people from of Ukraine origin. And therefore, clear that since the beginning of hostilities, Ukraine origin constituted by the largest group of origin in Poland. They account for just over 80% of the total number of foreigners settling in the country, in our country. Part four, structure for foreigners crime in Poland. Looking at the following data, concerning already strictly foreigner criminality, table four, uh, it can be pointed out that the number of foreign suspects in Poland had a very dynamic and variable trend in plus and in minus. This is no doubt that this leap is justified by the continuous development of migration to opening of Poland borders after joining the European Union. A sizable number of suspected foreigners are also seen in 2021. These two years, 2021 and 2022, represent the higher number of <coughs> suspected foreigners. On the basis of this upward trend, it can be predicted in the year, in, in the next year, in 2023, will be similar and it is not likely to forecast a significant or slight decrease or in foreigner crime. From the data of foreign suspects by nationality for 2022, it can be seen that the main group is made up of people from Ukraine, Georgia, and Belarus. One by one, firstly, people of Ukraine origin a month, 5,291, making 480.95% of the total suspects for, uh, for 2022. Secondly, people of Georgian uh, origin, 2,063, making 19.09% of the total suspects for 2022. 30 people of Belarusian origin, 719, making 6.65% of the total suspect for 2022. It is worth nothing that the top three are people from countries such as Ukraine, Georgia, and Belarus. They correlate with general migration trend, as earlier uh, when presenting the structure of origin in Poland, one could also see that the largest groups of foreigners are from the, these three countries. From the following data, table six, on the categories, categories of offenses for which foreigners were suspected in 2022, it is worth nothing that among the offenses for which foreigners were suspected in 2022, 81% uh, were act located directly in the criminal code. The first group of offenses are offenses against the traffic safety. There were 3,510 3, such offenses. The second group are offenses against property, where there, there were 3,236 such offenses. The third group is offenses against public order. They included 418 such offenses. The fourth group is uh, crimes against life and health. And summary, part seven. Comparing the structure of the offenses of total suspects and foraging suspects, some similarities can be seen the two most common group of offenses of both groups of suspects and offenses against property and, and against safety in communication. At the same time, these are the groups of acts most frequently committed in Poland. Foraging on the other hand, were more frequently suspected, suspected uh, uh, of, cri of crimes against public order than the general suspect in Poland 2022. It is also not objectionable that the three countries on the eastern side of Poland border are the top of three deaths statistics. The coincidence with the general migration trend in Poland where people from Ukraine, Belarus and Georgia are the forefront of their statistic. It also appears that the increase in migration from Poland eastern border will will going to continue. Thank you very much for your attention.